he was an artist's artist. You know, he was a musician's musician, and he was an entertainer's entertainer. Gamble Rogers walked onto an empty stage, carrying only his guitar, and spun up a mythical world of places like Snipes Ford, Bean Creek, and Ocklawaha County. Now, I want you good people to understand where I come from. Being sorry is a prime virtue, a reason to be, a way of life. Sorry! Or as they say in Habersham County, he was flat, eat up with a dumbass. If, if you go right to the root of when he started telling stories, it was probably when he learned to talk. <laughs> I mean, he... The audiences that I worked with were fairly raffish. I worked where I could find work, where there was work. And that meant working in little joke joints and taverns cultural deadfalls, skull orchards, we call them, down south. We went down and listened to them, and then uh, I, I was just mesmerized. I, mean, I don't think anyone ever watched Gamble that wasn't mesmerized. There's very few people who are such great musicians and great storytellers like Gamble. He had it both. I, I just felt like I was just watching a master at his craft. They used to always tell us, don't go down to the Terminal Tavern. But we went anyhow, because it was a dirt road dream. Slash pine in the sunset. A vermilion blush of neon beyond. Terminal Tavern, Terminal Tavern, Terminal Tavern, Terminal Inside the Terminal Tavern, a ceiling underslung with fishnets, encrusted with detritus, starfish bereft, and streaming down the steaming midnight air, a million shattered dreams that dangled like declensions of despair. Mm -hmm. 